MVPs aren't fair. They're meant to be rewarded to the most valuable player of every round, but all too often, somebody will do all the hard work, only for another player to get the credit come the end of the round. I hope to solve some of these mysteries in this video. It goes without saying that the MVP is awarded to one person every round on the winning side, based on how many kills, assists, and objectives they help to complete. But there's a lot more to an MVP award than just this. If the entire team suicides, or the time runs out and nobody has attacked each other, nobody gets the MVP. However, if anybody gets some damage against the other team, then they'll be blessed with the sought after most valuable player award, even if their contribution was as small as a decoy to an enemy's face. If a bomb explodes, the bomb planter is the MVP. But on the other hand, if the round ends because all enemies were killed, the person who killed the most will get the MVP. Diffusing is strange. As long as the guy who diffuses gets at least one kill, he'll get the MVP. If not, then they will go to the person who's killed the most. If the round ends from all enemies being killed, this is the one situation where points determine the winner. How many points do you get from killing an enemy? Well, you get one from an assist, you get two for a kill, and three if you're a terrorist, and either you or the enemy you kill is stood within 480 units of a planted bomb. This was a bit of a surprise to me. It doesn't, however, help you to get MVP even if you obtain more points in a round than somebody else who doesn't get these extra close to bomb kill points. A single kill, however, is worth more than two assists. But what if two players get the same score completely? It turns out that the server has favourites. If you type status into the console, you'll get a list of players on the server. Those at the top of the list have priority over those further down. If you and another person get an identical round, sorry, but the person higher up the list gets the MVP. This is determined by who joins the server first. Those further down the list could still get an MVP in a seemingly equal test if they shoot another person a bit, but not enough to get an assist. Seems as though these small amounts of damage still count as a fraction of a point, which I thought was interesting. But aside from that, the amount of damage dealt doesn't matter. An assist is an assist, and a kill is a kill. But I don't think this is fair. I think it would be better if, in these balanced situations, the MVP went to whoever killed the first or last enemy. As long as it's consistent, I don't mind, but favouring certain players over others seems wrong. I wasted a lot of time analysing a 30 round game for this video, though you might still find my findings interesting. In two thirds of the rounds, the person on the winning team who gained the most points won. This leaves a third of rounds that were determined by something else, be it an objective or the server's biases mentioned earlier, which I feel were responsible for at least six of the rounds. One of these is even more confusing, since it gave Aimer the MVP, despite another player getting the same, plus an extra assist. I noticed that the assist was only achieved after his death, so perhaps it doesn't count. I have to admit, I didn't investigate this anomaly further. I know that 30 rounds is a pretty small sample size. If somebody wants to study it more, then by all means, be my guest. I hope that this video helps to explain some of the stupid MVP decisions. Thanks to Saeek, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly, and website underscore down for your Reddit posts. They inspired this video.